Uh, let me just spend a moment, if I may, uh, reminding many of you who are new to our capital city uh, that this local union has just commenced its 42nd year of partnership with Providence. We have been the exclusive bargaining representative of Providence municipal employees since March of 1967. And we take that honor with an obligation. The 1,000 Providence municipal employees who are our members and the same number who are employed by Providence School Department, the Providence School Department, and a great majority, some 72%, live in our capital city. And I've said it so many times, and some people seem to think that we have, as institutions, an adversarial relationship. Our membership is Providence. Providence is our membership. The future of Providence is the future of our membership. During these 42 years, this local union has led from the front in the city's time of need. During those 42 years, when times were good, and that time will come back, we have, uh, without any sense of embarrassment, knocked on that door and said, Mayor, we're here for Providence's public servants. And we've negotiated the finest contracts in the public sector. We're facing unbelievable times. Um, certainly the worst economic time that I've ever experienced. And Providence is different. And for a local union that represents uh, municipal employees from Lincoln to Narragansett, 19 different municipalities, uh, I have a number of elected officials always challenging me for treating Providence differently. I plead guilty. Providence is different. Providence is our capital city. Providence is the heartbeat of our state. It was our time to rise to the occasion and to meet the challenge, and we partnered with this mayor and his team to work out something that is in our best interest and the best interest of the residents of Providence, which includes our members. We're proud of this new agreement. Uh, I remind you that we were here just 54 weeks ago yesterday to announce a three-year contract. And we've set aside provisions of that contract because the times dictate that we do. Um, this is our city. We love this city. Um, and the mayor has issued some challenges to my sisters and brothers in organized labor who represent other aspects of the city's workforce. Let me issue a like challenge to every elected official to meet at the negotiating table to do what David Cicilline did and that's roll up your sleeves, spend the time that is required to talk about the problem, and listen to potential solutions. Don't pretend that management has the only solutions. This contract was a true bilateral agreement in which both sides brought success to the table. So, Mayor, I want to thank you. Rich, I want to thank you. Um, and, and we look forward to another 42 years.